Yo, I'm back, y'all. I got another build, man. Um, this is my 94 Banshee. I got in Mississippi, about five hours away from the crib. Um, I got it for $300. <sighs> so, I'm going to basically tell y'all how I got it. Um, I was on Facebook. Strolling down, I seen a dude comment on. Well, he made a post basically saying he was looking for a bike. The post was probably about three, three or four weeks old, and the dude had said he had one for three hundred. I'm like, what? The dude didn't comment back, so I had comment. I'm like, yo, you still got that banshee? He like, yeah, I got it. You know what I'm saying? You can come get it for um for three hundred dollars. So I'm like, shit, I bet. So. Uh, we had scheduled a date to meet up. Meet, met up that weekend in Mississippi. That's where he stayed. I'm like, shit, three hundred dollars. I drive. You know what I'm saying? I drive five hours. I would have drove longer than that. But for a complete roller, um, well, not a complete roller, but you know, it's rolling. Um, I do have a shock, as you can see. It came with it some lights, uh, wire harness, CDI, brakes all the way around. Uh, plastics that I'm not going to be using, seat that I'm not going to be using. Um, voltage meter, I mean, voltage regulator, uh, a coil. You know what I'm saying? So for a $300 Benchy, a roller at that, you can't even get frames for $300. So I'm like, shit, I had to jump on that. Um, the bike was sitting outside for about two years. So it's very rusty, but um, I'm getting everything powder coated, so that's not even the issue. Uh, the bike gonna be going to powder coat like as soon as I break it down. Um, the Benchy is a '94, like I said, but I'll be doing a '92. So yes, it's not gonna be a real '92, but um, it's close enough for me. I'm not finna pay. Be completely honest with you, I'm not finna pay fifteen hundred the two thousand dollars on some plastics, um, especially used. And uh oh, gas tank. That was a big score. Cause gas tank right now three hundred, two hundred and fifty dollars, three hundred dollars, and that's came with a radiator. So um yeah, man, I ain't finna spend no two thousand on no damn plastic. It's never that serious to me. Um So we going ninety two. I got an idea on what color I'm gonna do the frame and swing on them and you know the pegs and axle and stuff like that. Um, and it's funny that I got those red and yellow plastics because that's what I got on my '96. But it came with every damn bolt, man. It came with radiator bolts, um, bumper bolts, like everything is there. The shock just not on. Because it didn't come with the dog bone linkage, you know, the little linkage that connects to the swing arm. It didn't come with that, so the shock went on. I'm like, that ain't nothing. But, um, yeah, it's, it's just rusty, man. So, of course, we got to get bearings and bushings all the way around. We're going to take care of that. Um, and my goal is to save some money on this build, so all the bolts. I'm gonna drop them in some some rest treatment so I can get them all cleaned up. Uh, I'm gonna paint the A arms. I'm gonna paint the hubs. I'm not gonna get them powder coated. Um, let me see. I'll probably paint the steering stem and sell the wheels, sell the blaster shocks because I want OEM shocks. I don't know how the blaster shocks feel, but. I like the way OEM feels, so I just rather stick with those instead of trying to figure out how blaster shocks feel. Um, I'm gonna test out the brakes. Like my first ride, I'm gonna test out the brakes. I couldn't test them out because um, the back brake didn't come with a lever or nothing. So I was like, yeah, I just, I'm gonna have to order a lever. And, um,. A new rear brake master cylinder, but all the all the calipers and stuff, I still got them. So I'm gonna test them out, put fresh pads on them, give them a coat of paint, and see how they feel. If you know they solid, then cool, I'll run with them. If not, then I just get some some decent ones from Redo. Um, 
I'm going to make this build, man. It's, it's going to be crispy. Like, um, Y'all haven't seen my 96 yet. It's the orange bike. It's the same frame, same motor, same pipes, same wheels, but different tires. I put smaller tires on them. Um, I changed the sprocket, and I put uh, 96 plastics and graphics on them. <sighs> um, let me see. Uh, with this build, it's not going to be a like a high dollar bill. I'm going to try to keep it, you know what I'm saying, reasonable. Um, and for $300, I'm at, I'm at a damn good start. But, um, yeah, we're going to try to keep it reasonable and not go too crazy with it. Because I can go crazy on these benches. Like, I fucking love benches. And everybody who know me know I love benches. Um... So, oh, I got it. I got. I want to get new handlebars, but um, the bolts that's in there, not the two, uh, not the two back bolts, but the two front bolts. They Allen heads and they strip. So I gotta cut them and then extract the extract the bolt out. So that's a project itself. Um, yeah, man. For the most part. I don't even know what I'm really talking about right now. I'm just showing y'all how rusty everything is. Um, I'm going to just order a new carrier off eBay because if I... Uh, I was going to get that one powder coated, but, man, it's just quicker to get a, get a new one. And um, I can save money on getting it powder coated and getting new bearings. Just get a new one. Um, only thing... On my brake system that I might need is brake lines because those look rusty and I don't want to deal with that shit. I'd rather just buy all stainless brake lines. They ain't too expensive anyway. It's probably like $50 for all three, but um, yeah, man, y'all just stay tuned for the build, man. A lot of stuff coming soon. A lot of content coming. So just stay tuned.